Hello, my name is Ray Franklin. I'm the Senior Commodity Analyst for Energy Professionals. Today's video is a summary of my April 8th energy update, in which I'll explain why we believe the window of opportunity to secure rates near their lowest prices since 2000 is about to close. I focus on natural gas because it's the largest source of power for the generation of electricity. Therefore, their pricing is highly correlated. In our March 25th energy update, we said with natural gas near its lowest prices since 2000, the conditions supporting a major bottom are in place. And although prices could go slightly lower in the near term, based on past history, the average price of natural gas will likely be much higher long term. In our February 19th energy update, we pointed out, based on what has happened in the past, natural gas was not expected to remain near today's very low prices for an extended period. We came to that conclusion by reviewing data from the Energy Information Administration's website. The data on the EIA site revealed there were two similar instances in 2012 and 2016 when natural gas's total supplies were higher during their spring shoulder periods than during this year's spring shoulder period. And in both instances, after declining below $2, natural gas was much higher by the end of the year. In 2012 and 2016, similar to this year, we had experienced warmer than normal winters resulting in supplies reaching record levels higher than this year during their spring shoulder periods. But by the end of the year, prices more than doubled. Spring shoulders take place between the winter heating and summer cooling seasons, when demand for natural gas and electricity are very low. Therefore, it was not surprising that the lows of the year in 2012 and 2016 below $2 were reached during their spring shoulder periods, and prices moved higher throughout the rest of the year. Therefore, with natural gas presently trading below $2, and our supply is lower than it was in 2012 and 2016, where do you think prices will be at the end of this year? Anyone who hesitated to lock in the low rates during the spring shoulder periods in 2012 and 2016 paid dearly by the end of the year. Hopefully, if you have not already locked in today's low rates during this year's spring shoulder period, you will not repeat the mistakes of those who hesitated in 2012 and 2016. The window of opportunity to secure rates at their lowest prices of the year will likely close soon. Therefore, if your present energy agreements expire this year or in 2025, we recommend taking advantage of this year's historically very low prices and reserve energy to be available when your present agreements expire. We believe the empirical evidence presented in today's report strongly suggests that the average price will be higher long term, and the upside risk is much greater than the downside potential of waiting hoping for slightly lower prices. We realize not every client's risk tolerance and hedging strategy are the same, but hopefully today's report helps put into perspective your risk-reward opportunities and we invite you to call one of our energy analysts to plan a hedging strategy appropriate for your situation. And until my next report, please take care.